Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another week of the WBE World Battle Entertainment. My name is Kyle A and I am your coach of the Miami Dom fans and this week we are taking on one of my closest friends, if not my best friend in the whole community, even outside of the community offline, I still consider him family to me. Galactic Elliot and his Chicago Cub Shoes, okay? Now, this matchup right here, uh, honestly, I think was the hardest I've ever had to prep for out of any league game ever because his team just is so good against mine. Like, there's so many directions that he could go and still be able to succeed against me, um, but... I feel like x kind of tears through my team. I feel like Volcarona, he'll bring that 100% without a doubt just because I feel like it has a great matchup against my team. Um, Sticky Webs would be so good if he brings Mega Metacham or he could go with Sash, or not Sash, he could go with Sand uh, and do like um, like a, uh, a nasty Exadrill or he could bring like a Scarf Exadrill. I feel like it'd be really good, but... You should definitely check out my team builder I uploaded yesterday, and uh, that way you'll be able to see the sets and whatnot that I'm bringing and kind of my logic behind that. And uh, it looks like Elliot's picking his team or something. It's it's waiting on something. It's waiting on something. But hey, I do have a question of the day. Question of the day is if I were to make, um, if I were to release any kind of like Miami Don fans apparel or merchandise would any of you be interested in purchasing that and please be honest um it's okay if you, if not it it really is okay i would rather have people say no um than have me go through the process of getting shirts made and then nobody wants to buy one so you know what i mean i, I definitely do understand but um feel free to let me know and uh All right, I had to DM him real quick. I just said, are you good? It says, I'm waiting on you. So all we had to do was make the, uh, pick our teams, I feel like, right? I feel like all we had to do was pick our teams. But, oh, man. This, this battle, like, I'm actually super hyped for this because of just how scary it is. Like, I feel like I might actually get scorched this week. Like, Oh, here we go. Okay, now it's coming through. Who does he bring? He does bring sand. He brings Cofagrigus. Okay, so he went in an opposite direction as to what I was prepared for. Okay, no sticky webs, but he does bring sand. Okay. Okay. Um... No sticky webs, but he does bring sand, and he does not bring Mega Metacham, and he doesn't bring x -Bloud. Holy cow. Okay, that is a huge um, weight off my shoulders that x -Bloud isn't coming, but I think that sand is going to kind of destroy me, uh, if I'm being honest. If I'm just being honest. Uh, let's see here. Okay, now what do I want to do? Um... There's so many ways. I'm just, I'm trying to take notes. I, I'm trying to get better at taking notes, guys. So I'm sorry if my uh, thing is lagging because I'm like clicking in different windows. <laughs> but uh, making sure I get my calcs up. All right, you know what? I think, I think it would be optimal for me to lead with Scizor. Um, because if he leads with Gigalith to get sand up, I don't know if he can really do, and I don't know if Gigalith can hit us. I don't know, like, I really don't know what Gigalith could do to me. If he does lead with it, that is. Um, so let's see. 
Colossus. Okay, he does lead Gigalith. Um, Sandstream. Okay, so we do see the sand. Okay. Let's see here. I know a lot of the times these things are like specially defensive. Um, I really think that without a doubt, I just sword dance turn one. Not usually the best setup turn one, but you know, oh well. Let's say he goes to Exadrill. If he goes to Exadrill and I'm plus two, I KO him with knockoff. He stays in. He stayed in. What did he do? Oh, he sets up rocks. Okay. Okay, so let's see here. So from this point, I could Oko him. I could Oko him with um, knockoff. But part of me... wants to just SD again. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm gonna do it. Knock off, I feel like, would have been the play right there. Who's Pride? Okay, uh, okay, Cockagrigus. Okay, um, so Cockagrigus, we know, is out. And. We Oko. We Oko him. Unless he's Culverberry? I feel like he could be Culverberry. That'd be kind of bogus. Let's see what happens if he's like... Yeah, if he's... Mm. I don't think he would be. I think we just knock him off. Yeah, we're gonna knock him out. Okay, we lose Technician, which kind of sucks. We lose Technician, but Scizor kills Kofag with knockoff. Oh my gosh, okay, so I have Mummy now, so I need to keep that in mind. I have Mummy. Instead of Technician, which kind of sucks. Um, that kind of sucks. Uh, okay, but that's huge. That's huge for us. Holy cow. Okay, so that's actually pretty good um, that we were able to land something like that. Oh, my goodness. Look at Kyle eh, leaving notes. People say, Kyle, leave notes. Do calcs. And I'm like, all right, fine. Fine, I will, okay? Um, but... Scizor. Let's get it. Okay, uh... So... Without Technician, Bullet Punch is not gonna be near as good. I mean, it's still gonna be good. I'm plus four, but... He should go into Volcarona right here. Volcarona... Outspeeds me, and I cannot kill him. I can't kill him with Bullet Punch. He literally just could click any fire move and beat me. And, and knock me out, I mean. Um, oh, he goes into Drill. Okay. Extra Drill. Let's see here.
What's my HP at? 153? So I'm at 90%. What if he's adamant instead of jolly? He still can't Oko me. Unless he's like... I have it with Life Orb. If he's banded, he can kill me. I'm just gonna go for knockoff. If he's banded, then well played. Definitely well played if he's banded. Um, but if he hits me, he gets mummy. Which, that's actually kind of cool. That's one thing that um, Jake and I were planning on. Is uh, if we can absorb... Because after uh, one Swords Dance, we could Oko Kofagrigus with knockoff. As long as he wasn't like max physical defense bold or like culverberry um okay he goes for eq and we live on 11 okay he is life orb okay so we were calc to live that um but we wanted to make sure that if we could absorb um if we could absorb mummy then that would be huge for us okay so scissor dies to life orb so scissor kills Drill with KO. Scizor dies to life orb. Okay, not bad. We literally already took out the Sand Sweeper. Okay, that is huge for us. Um, okay, 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 okay. Um, now what do we do? Oh man, okay, 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 okay. What if I kind of need Swallow to get off the uh the flame orb? But I honestly just kind of want to go straight into my blue eyes. Let's get it. Alright, blue eyes, let's go. He went... Okay. Uh... Oh, shit. That's not my... <laughs> I'm over here trying to run calcs in my <laughs> in my fucking notes. Okay. Oh jeez. Okay. Um. Hmm. I have a few things I could do. Head smash is gonna do more, but I honestly feel like I just want to click EQ and see what he's gonna do. I think he was predicting Slow King or Frostlass to try to Pursuit Trap me. I feel like that's that was actually a really good play by him. Oh, man. Shout out to Swords Dance, Scizor. Taking out Kofagrigus and Exadrill. The two things that I was like... Ah! We were doing mock battles, and Kofagrigus was like... Fucking owning my life, dude. Like, I could not stand a chance versus Kofagrigus. Okay, he went for Toxic. Okay, not bad. Not bad, my friend. Uh, we're going to go for EQ, and we're going to see his investment. Okay, EQ did like 45. Um, what are you? Are you like max defense? Okay, yeah, that I'd say that's about right. Okay, so he's okay. He's physical. Um, head smash can kill though, right?
Yeah, I don't know what he does here. Um, I think that he might switch. I think he might switch. But if he doesn't, I think Head Smash kills him with his investment. And uh, if he does switch, we're going to get a huge hit off on something else. This is Vaporeon. Marina. And we don't miss Head Smash. Holy cow! Somebody came to play. Oh, shit. That was a good play. Oh! Okay. Okay. It's a... Man, I don't even know what item that is. So, A to Berry to boost defense. Let's see. What about, like, Ice Beam? Ice Beam can do 30 to... 36... I'm gonna go Tangrowth. I'm gonna go to Tangrowth and see what he's gonna do. He, he might predict that. And just wish. I feel like that he's gonna wish. He knows I can't kill him. I used my strongest move and did half, and then he got plus one defense. Okay, so he goes for wish. Okay. So, guessing he will protect. Uh, let me bring in my Tang Growth on my calcs here. Okay, so there's two things that could happen here. There's two possible things that could happen. There is choice A. That he just clicks protect. There is choice B, however, that he switches into Skuntank to try to wish that up. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just Leaf Storm. He does switch. Good, good play, good play, good play. Good play. Okay. So we go for Leaf Storm. We don't miss somehow. The sand goes away. He gets the wish. It's going to take him full, right? Just about. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I tried to drag the window. <laughs> I tried to move the window out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Did I sync that back up correctly? Yeah, I did. Okay. 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 Um, so we saw lefties or, or black sludge, right? Lefties are black sludge. Um, one of those. Let's see what I can do here. Um, okay. I think I'm actually going to go to Frost last. I think I'm going to go to Frost last. I'm focused Sash. I know I can live, whatever. And uh, we'll see what he's gonna do. Oh shit, never mind, we, t we take rocks. Okay, he poison jabs. So, let's see, I'm at 83 now. Which is 53%. Okay. Mm 
What if? Change that. Change that. Change that. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm kind of. I'm kind of. At a mix up here. I have a few things I can do. I could drop a spike. Just one little spike, I could drop it. Or, I can Destiny Bond. So, oh man, I don't know what I, you know what, I'm going for Destiny Bond. I'm, if I don't do it, I think I might, I might regret it. I might regret it. But if I can get rid of his physical, this physical wall at least, he went for toxic. Okay. Uh, so if Frost gets toxic, okay. So that's one thing that we need to know. What does uh? Okay. What does? What does Swallow do here? Does Swallow do anything? Swallow can do major damage, but I do have to get off the burn. Um, I'm gonna set up the spike. I might, if he pursues me here, that would be clean. He goes for poison jab. Crit, of course. Didn't really matter though. Because I'm toxic anyways, so it wasn't bad. Um, Alright, now here's the thing. He expects me to debond, right? I know he does. So what if... Change this. What if I go to... I could just attack him, for real. I could, I could just use this turn to attack. Or I can just set up another spike. You know what? I'm. I got a feeling he's just gonna like switch or protect or do something else. So I'm gonna set up a spike and just hold that L and go down here. Um, there's no reason to attack him. He knows. He knows that I have. Um... Okay, so I have two spike up. So I have two spikes. Okay. He switches, okay, and goes into Gigalith, okay. Not bad. Oh, I'm dead either way there. It's either I attack, um, I could have just clicked Ice Beam. I honestly could have clicked Ice Beam. That probably would have been a better move, but we will get off the spike, and then we're going to die to Toxic, so not bad. Skunk. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh-oh, did Sand kill me? I think Sand killed me. Gig kills Frost last with Sand. I think. I think. Whenever the stat the stats will be updated correctly, but I think if I saw that Sand killed me and not Toxic. So um, that's how I'm marking it now, but no need to correct me if I'm wrong. It will be fixed on the stat sheet. Um, so let's see here. Uh I have 133 HP on Tyrantrum. So, okay, I still got 45 seconds, okay. Um,
Hmm. This game really is far from over. I could go Tang. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do here. I'm going Tang. I'm going Tang. We take rocks, that's fine. Um, I feel like knockoff would be the play here. I feel like knockoff is my play. Let's see. Even though Leaf Storm does so much. Actually, I feel like it would be better. Actually, I feel like it's better to EQ. Now that I think about it. I feel because EQ is going to hit this. It's also going to hit the Volcarona switch in. And he's not going to go Vaporeon. And it's going to hit the Skun Tank switch in. So. Oh, he stays in. Oh, no. Are you Explosion? You ate that! Holy cow! Toxic. I'm sorry, man. That's rough. I've been there, bro. I I've I've been there. I've been there. I've been there, bro. That's that's rough, man. That's rough. That's rough. Part of me. Wants to leaf storm, but I feel like the play is to just EQ again. Leaf storm is a chance to kill him, but I know that with my luck, with my luck, he'll switch here. Oh, nope. Okay. Is that a, that's a crit, isn't it? Dude, I feel so bad, man. I just dodged. I dodge a Toxic and then I crit him. Like, that's... I don't want that, man. Come on now. I don't want that in my life. The good news is, I think he dies to... Uh, I think he dies to Spikes, even. So, it wouldn't hurt me at all here to just straight up EQ again. Because I'm going to hit whatever. Or I can Leaf Storm. But, uh... I'm just going to EQ again. He'll probably go into Vaporeon and try to save this and just try and set Sand up again. Oh, no, he protects. Okay. Wants to see what I'm going to do. That's fine. We're going to take Sandstorm and Toxic damage. I kind of want to switch right here into Slow King. But honestly, we don't really need Tangrowth that much here, so I kind of just want to EQ again. Good play, though, getting the Protect off, because that does put Sand and Toxic on me. And that's what he needs after that last turn of events that went down. I feel bad for him, man. That, that, that sucks, because I've been there, you know? You guys have seen me miss high jump kicks. I think in the P4G, I missed Toxic three times in a game before. Um, I've missed Leaf Storm after Leaf Storm after Leaf Storm. I've missed Head Smash. I've missed so many moves. But, like, to miss an attack, I already feel bad for you. But then to follow that up with me getting a crit, like, the next turn, it's like, bro, come on. You know what I mean? So, I, I feel bad. I feel bad for him. It's, that's, that's rough. That's rough, man. That's rough skin. That's rough skin and Rocky Helmet. He went for the double protect, didn't get it. Okay. That's fine. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Shit. Wrong mon. Shit. Wrong mon. <laughs> okay. Tang kills Gig with EQ. Now I have to switch here. I have 62 HP. What 
what if I switch this and switch this and switch that? I kind of want to see. I kind of want to know what my options are because, oh man. Sorry man, somebody just sent, okay, so somebody just sent me something, but. I had to let them know I am in a battle right now. I'm in a battle right now, bro. I will get back to you in just a second, okay? Or, not just a second, but, okay. He went skunk, okay. So we know this thing is like mad physically defensive, right? I'm just gonna assume he's like max, max. Hmm. Oh man, I, I don't even know if Tang is worth keeping around, honestly. I really don't. Um, I feel like he might pursue here. What if I change that? doesn't make a difference i'm just gonna go for earthquake i think he'll pursue me expecting me to switch um and try to save tangrowth i think he might actually do that which will live a pursuit but then we'll die to poison so Swello, baby. Okay, let's see here. Oh, he goes for poison jab. Okay, not bad. So we died. I thought I thought for sure he was going to pursue. Um, skunk kills Tang with P jab. Well, okay. I think we can honestly just go into Swello here. Like for real, for real. Like if I'm, like if I'm just being honest. Because I think Swallow kind of eats from here. But I could go Tyrantrum also. How do I want to do this? If he has Sucker Punch, it does half. Poison Jab does half. And we take rocks. So, we definitely need to go... We need to put on damage before we bring in... Swallow, in my opinion. Um, so, I'm gonna go... To Blue Eyes. I'm gonna go to Blue Eyes. Elliot's playing so well this game. Because we, we've had some, some shit go down. And he's like still in here... I don't even know if I'm technically winning this game. Honestly, I, I think that he might actually be winning this game because I do still have Regenerator Slow King. I have Swellow, which Swellow's so good for me. But um, our Swellow needs uh, needs this fucking guy to be gone, basically. Um, in my opinion, just because we got to be ready to go. Um, I think that we EQ here because it's not worth missing Rock Smash. Or Rock Smash. It's not worth missing Head Smash, in my opinion. Um, but the good thing is he's going to take Sand. He, he continues to take Sand. And if he comes back in, he's going to take two Spikes. So... 
that's one thing that's good. So shout out to Frostlass, man. Like, it did kind of just go down, but it was able to put up some spikes and apply some pressure here. It's also good because if he's Focus Sash Volcarona, that can't come in safely, um, even when Sand's up, because it, the Sash will get broken. So it doesn't get a free Quiver Dance anymore. Um, which is part of why I was okay with letting Tangrowth go down, just because um, normally he... I feel like he could bring in Volcarona on Tangrowth and then essentially get like a free um, thing off, right? Get like a free Quiver Dance off, like expecting me to switch. So we're going to go for EQ. I think I do like 40% maybe. Oh my god, is that that's a crit again? Dude, I'm so fucking sorry. I'm going to message him. I literally typed, I am so fucking sorry. <laughs> like, holy cow. Um, well, that's what we needed right there. Um, because if one skunk goes down, sw Swellow wins. Oh, shit. Uh, we saw he outsped us. But, I mean, Sucker Punch won't kill us. So really, we just EQ again. That crit was game-changing, actually, in my opinion. Um, let me know what you guys think um, about that, but I think that crit right there was actually game-changing because he should have been able to live... Well, I don't know about with Sand, actually. I was going to say, because he, sh he should have been able to live two Earthquakes um, or barely die on the second one. Um, because, of course, he has Black Sludge or Leftovers um, would be the reason why. But that crit is going to guarantee that we two shot him. And now he dies to spikes. If he, comes, if he tries to come back in, he dies to spikes. So he basically has no choice but to let this go down. He'll probably Poison Jab here just for damage because it, it does less or it does more than Sucker Punch. So he'll probably just Poison Jab and then we can kind of just let Tyrantrum go down and bring in Swellow. And then we know that unless full Corona is like Scar Fire Blast, we're gonna be good. Let's let me check Vol Corona real quick too. Oh, he defogs. Oh, that was a good play. All right, that's actually, uh, that was actually a really good play because now, like I said, that kind of hints at me that Volcarona may be Focus Sash. Um, how did that go down? Tyrantrum uh, killed Skunk with EQ, that's right. Okay. Okay, and now he went vape. Uh, what HP do I have? Do I have 56 or 58? I have 56. No, what about Slow King? Sand went down. That's something I almost missed. Uh, oh, he brought in Vaporeon. There we go. Vaporeon. I'm gonna go for Head Smash. We can kill him. Head Smash can kill him if we don't miss. Head Smash can kill if we don't miss. Which we don't. Which makes me kind of feel bad now because he's once again missed again. Oh man. That's huge. Kills Vape with Head Smash and Full Corona comes in. It's going to outspeed us and probably kill us. 
<laughs> he named this thing Buzzkill. <laughs> that's pretty funny, actually. That's a good. That's a good name. That's a good name. That's a good name. Um, Volk. So Volcarona in. I'm just like worried. Like if this guy is like straight up, um, because he's faster than us, right? He's gonna kill us on this turn. Okay, look, honestly, this is what I want to do. If I'm being 100% honest, this is what I want to do. I want to... I kind of just want to Dragon Claw so I don't risk missing. But, come on, because if he, he could go for Quiver Dance here. He really could go for Quiver Dance, especially if he's Focus Sash. Um, and if we miss, that could be huge. I'm putting my trust in you. Oh, okay, he goes for Psychic. Okay, that's fine. We're dead. <laughs> the HP was going slow there. That crit may have mattered, but that's fine, man. I, I, I'm glad that... Oh, never mind, he's Life Orb. Okay, so that's good. That's I, I'm glad. I'm glad that happened. Okay, um... Volk kills Tyrantrum with Psychic. <clears throat> okay, where is Tyrantrum on my layout? He's right here. Okay. I'm gonna go Swallow. We take rocks. We don't take rocks. Oh, he defogged. He defogged. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. He defogged. Okay. Um. But we know we outspeed him, and uh, Brave Bird will kill him. So we know he's Life Orb, so he's not like Flying Berry or anything like that. Is there, is there a Flying Berry? I feel like there is a Flying Berry. I've just never seen it used. But um, we can go for the Brave Bird here. And we are going to pick up... Is he max physical defense or something? Okay. Flame Body, that's fine. We're actually Gut Swallow, so that's pretty dope. Um, we had Flame Orb anyways, but we are able to pick up the 2-0 win over Elliot in a Haxy game. I will not hide the fact that that game was very haxy but oh my god down fans that's four in a row that is a franchise high in wins and oh man like i'm sorry elliot man that was a great battle dude you still you like definitely hats off to elliot man for real because like um Show some support on his channel because that game was really haxy and he was still able to hold in there until the very end and almost beat us. Like, we still had Slow King at max health and Swallow was at max health, but like, if some of that hacks didn't happen, then I would have been forced to bring those in and it could have been completely different, man. But GG Elliot, he's a good battler, better than me in my opinion. Um, he is better than me. He uh, beat me in P4G. Now we are able to win the run back. So that's four in a row. I'm going to bow down to you guys, the viewers. I love y'all. Let me know. Remember, let me know if you would uh, be interested in Don Fan's apparel, shirts, whatever, hoodies. Uh, I, I don't know. Whatever. But let me know about that. And that's all I got for you, Don Fans. Roll out.